Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be giving some booktuber shoutouts. So the lovely Becky from Bex Reads reached out to me to do this tag with her and a few other booktubers. So she reached out to me and I was very excited to do this because she really wants to highlight, also pause if you hear a chainsaw in the background, my dad has it out, okay? Let's ignore it, okay? Anyway, when Becky reached out to me, I was actually really excited about this because I love hyping up and recommending booktubers, shouting out my friends. I think it's some of the best way to support your fellow booktubers is to shout them out and talk about them because they're amazing people. So um, Becky really wanted to highlight those that are under 5K, which I have done. I have um, the questions here with people chosen and I have like quadruple the amount of small booktubers that I follow that are under 5K than this list. So I just, I, I thought of the person that first came to my mind. You know what I mean? So I have more recommendations. So let me know down below if you want like a whole nother video talking about all of the small romance booktubers that I am subscribed to, I will make a video for y'all if y'all are interested. So without further ado, here is the share the booktube love tag. The first prompt that I have is booktubers with the best filming background. I have to talk about Tiff. Okay, Tiffany, I love you, girl. She has some of like the most beautiful setups ever for some of her videos. Even when she vlogs, I'm like, how do you make it look so awesome? Like she has the most beautiful shelves. She just recently moved, love the shelves. She even like installed lights in her shelves behind her. So cool. And I even loved her setup before she moved like at her old place. Like I loved that as well. She had beautiful lights and ambiance that was amazing. And even I think her bookshelves are being painted right now, like in the process of being painted by one of her friends. And I'm like, I can't wait to see it. And it's gonna be even more stunning. So I always love Tiffany regardless like tiffany could probably fit like so many of these prompts um but i'm going to stick to one <laughs> and i absolutely am obsessed with her background i would also love to mention freya from frey lease her background is so aesthetically pleasing to me it's so crisp and white and has these beautiful plants behind her i know she's mentioned that she's changed her bookshelves up quite a lot like it's so pretty i love also when people change up their bookshelves i think it's so fun because i get to see something new you know what i mean behind them and my eye just like catches the differences if i'm really used to watching their videos so i love when fairly does that because i'm like oh my gosh she changed it let me see how she changed it what'd she do and it's just like beautiful and crisp and i love I love her background setup. Number two is booktuber with the best editing. And I picked Deja from Deja's book world. I love Deja, she is so funny. She could also fit another question in here that's someone that makes you laugh. But again, I only picked one person for the prompt or whatever, I can't repeat them, okay? Um, but she's so funny and she does it sometimes with her editing where she puts in like memes or gifs or like things like that. And it's so funny. <laughs> I also think her editing's just really crisp. I love the sound quality of all of her videos. She has a fantastic background, like her whole entire setup is just stunning. So I absolutely adore Deja. Number three is booktuber with the coolest intro. I feel like a lot of people are gonna pick B. Okay, B from Mama Needs to Be Romance. Her intros make me laugh so hard. B always has these very fun and unique intros. She creates like kind of like little skits. Every time I watch one of them, I'm in awe and I'm thinking like, how did B come up with this? How did she form this in her mind? Like, this is so creative. She is so creative. I love her. And I also love how she sometimes even makes them into YouTube shorts, which good for her. Yes, because they're so funny. More people need to see them. I absolutely just love every single one of her intros. I feel like she should just make a compilation of like all of them because they're so funny. And also it's a plus that her recommendations are fantastic as well. Number four is booktubers with best recommendations. So I picked two booktubers that have very similar tastes to me. So that's why I think they have the best recommendations is because we have very similar Taste. Okay, so first is my best friend Zay from Winnie Reads. I love her so much. We have very similar tastes in books. I feel like Zay takes the time really to pick out the books she thinks she's going to love. Like sometimes I'll just be like, I'm bored one day and pick up the random book that pops up on my Kindle. You know what I mean? Those sometimes don't really work out for me, like 50-50 they will. And I feel like Zay really takes the time to read books she thinks she will love, which I can always appreciate that. And I always really trust her reviews and recommendations and her thoughts on books because they're very similar to my own. So I love Zay, I love her recommendations. And I also have very similar tastes to Christy from Christy Hanna. I absolutely love Christy. Talk about another woman who has fantastic aesthetic. I love 
I love her. I love her so much. She's so stinking cute and beautiful, stunning. I love her. So I love her books that she recommends because I've gotten a bunch of recommendations from her. I know we like get recommendations from each other, which is so fun. I love when we are able to do that. And we have very, very similar tastes. She's read Ice Planet Barbarians, but then she'll read contemporary romances. So like I feel very similar to her. And so I just love getting all of her recommendations. Number five is booktuber currently at the top of your watch feed. So I always have a bunch of people at the top of my watch feed. Right now I like looked on um, my YouTube to see like, oh, whose video would I watch first um, in my watch later playlist. So first is Johanna from My Cozy Book Space. I am always chomping at the bit to watch one of her videos. She is so fun, so funny. I just love her and her taste in books. And she's very honest about her taste and her reviews, which I absolutely love. I love Johanna just as a person. She is beautiful and so incredibly kind. And then also Kelly from Kelly Reynolds Reads. Oh, she is everything. I love her. Like, I feel like we're twins in a lot of ways. And I just, I love her so much. She is so kind. Like, I love how kind and sweet she is. And also her like taste in books. Oh, I love it. Just watching her YouTube is fantastic, but also you need to follow her on Instagram and watch all of her Instagram stories because you get to see her like live reactions to some of the books that she reads. So fun. And we have a lot of similar reading tastes as well when she'll read like monster books and then she'll pick up a cowboy romance and then she'll pick up a dark like Sophie Lark book, you know, and like she like jumps everywhere. And I am very similar to that. So I love you, Kelly. Number six is booktubers who make the best of vlogs. So again, I have two for this one. Daphne from Being Daphne, y'all. I am obsessed with her. Again, another woman with amazing aesthetic. I want to be Daphne sometimes. <laughs> Just where she lives. She lives with like beautiful... I feel like it's beautiful life in New York. Just like whenever she just vlogs her life in New York, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're like living in a movie. Like that is a movie <laughs> to me, like how she lives and where she is. She's just like a normal woman living in New York. But I'm like, can I beat you please? Or can I just follow you around all day and like envy, be, become envious of everything that you do? I also just love her and her husband. They are a stunning couple. They're beautiful. So I just love all of her vlog content because it's so fun. It also is very calming. Daphne has a very calming voice, which I always appreciate. And then I absolutely always chomp at the bit to watch Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings vlogs because Rachel is my bestie. I love her so much and I just love watching everything and anything she makes, especially her vlogs because I get to deep dive into Rachel's life. I love watching anything about Rachel. I love seeing her go on walks with Chloe. I love her just deep diving into her feelings on books. So I love Rachel and I love everything she puts out, but especially her vlogs, cause I just, I love giving, getting more Rachel content. Number seven is booktubers with the best thumbnails. So Amanda from Ginger Snapped Reads. I love her thumbnails. They're so pretty to me. I think they're so pretty. They're very to the point, precise. Like I just love Amanda too. Beautiful, stunning woman. Another stunning woman. I love her. And then my other one is Victoria. I absolutely love Victoria, obviously. She's one of my best friends. And she's from Victoria's Roommates Reads, obviously. And um, her thumbnails are always so bright and colorful, very eye-catching to me, which I love. I feel like mine are very muted sometimes. So I just love getting the opposite with people that I watch um, with the very bright, colorful ones. Number eight is Booktuber you've discovered most recently. So Keija from Instagram, from Keija Reads Romance. I love her Instagram, by the way. I followed her on Instagram and then she recently created a YouTube channel and I've been loving her recommendations. She just did a collab with Samantha talking about like Omegaverse books. And so I watched both of their vlogs and I was like, okay, I need to read more. I've read a few, but like I love their love for them. And she also book binds and she reads a lot of like Dramine fan fiction, which is really fun, which I've not dipped my toe into, but I definitely want to. I will definitely reach out to her and a few other my friends to get recommendations. But yeah, she's my most recent um, person that I've subscribed to that's a small booktuber. So I really love just Keisha in general. She's so sweet and I love all of her content. And then question number nine is a booktuber who makes you laugh. My friend Kate from the book of Kate, she's my in real life friend. <laughs> um, we met in college and she started a booktube channel and she just makes me laugh because it's Kate. Kate is always so funny and I love her recommendations and her reactions to some of the books she reads is so funny to me too. Like she just decided to buy the whole Wild series. I don't know who the author is, but like they're banned on Amazon because it's a very taboo relationship to say the least. If you know what Wild is about, like you know what Wild is about. And like her reactions <laughs> to some of the books she reads, like especially that book is so funny to me. I think she also read 
like Sarah Kate's stepbrother book, the stepbrother book that she um, wrote and like her reaction to that, she was like saying how it is not it. And it's so funny. Same thing with her TikToks. Her TikToks make me laugh also. So I just love Kate and I love uh, her reactions to books. Question number 10 is to tag some booktubers to share the love. So I tag anybody watching this that wants to spread the love for booktubers that are under 5k. This was really fun to do. So thank you so much, Becky, for reaching out to me. And again, let me know if y'all want a larger video of me talking about all of the small romance booktubers, romance booktubers, that can be a tongue twister, <laughs> romance booktubers that I am subscribed to because I have like four times the amount that are on this list. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me. What are we going to do today? Let's do the pink sparkly heart <laughs> down below. Um, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.